It's hard to beat a warm fire on a cold winter's day. And talking about a cold area of Canada it makes me think a little bit of the Northwest Territories. But we were actually up in the Northwest Territories this year when it was a little warmer. It was an August hunt. We were hunting for velvet caribou with our dream hunt winner, Quentin Motley. What a great guy. He got a chance to get a great world-class caribou, and I was with him. I'm your host, Thomas Pujon, for Canada in the Rough. Let's get hunting. Dodge presents Canada in the Rough, the hunting adventure documentary series. Canada, the last hunting frontier, three and a half million square miles of unspoiled wilderness, and some of the best hunting on the planet. In the Rough, the hunting adventure documentary series, season six, is brought to you by Dodge, grab life by the horns, Rocky, outdoor gear, the Beretta family of firearms, federal premium ammunition, every shot counts, Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here, Yamaha, ATVs and outboards, and Pioneer Log Homes of BC, the finest log homes on earth. This week on Canada in the Rough, we're headed to the Northwest Territories. With dramatic landscapes, crystal clear water, picturesque sunsets and world-class hunting and fishing, this area is a sight to behold. Today, we'll be caribou hunting with Barry Taylor's Arctic Safaris, located an hour and a half flight north of Yellowknife. Despite staying in the remote barren lands of the Northwest Territories, the grizzly proof cabins, great food and friendly people sure make you feel right at home. Hunting with Thomas this week will be Quentin Motley, a down-to-earth farmer from Alberta who was the lucky winner of this hunt through last year's Canada in the Rough giveaway contest. Though Quentin has taken some great animals back home, this will be his first caribou hunt and one he will never forget. Join us today as we get up close and personal with some of the best caribou Canada has to offer. Closed captioning is brought to you by Burris. See the light. Beautiful morning. Wow. Nice hot morning. So Quentin, here we are, brother. About uh, six months ago, you got a call from us and you just yeah. won this caribou hunt. I did. And we, here we are, brother. Dream so you, hunt. You could be home, uh, you know, rustling up your cattle or cutting up silage, but you're here hunting. Winter feed. Yeah, I'm here hunting. This is a good deal. A lot better. Are you happy? I'm pumped. Freaking Let's get it hey, going I'm, on. I'm excited. First so, time. So uh, this is your first time up north here too, first right? First time up north. First yeah. time hunting caribou. That's and fabulous. float plane. Fabulous. First time in float plane. First time in the float Take plane. a little no anti nauseant medication. Oh, have to. Yeah, we don't want you going green. Bad yeah. deal. So uh, let's get our gear. Uh, we've got about an hour and a half flight in. Uh, the plane's getting prepped, ready to go. We'll yep. load her up. Go on, caribou hunting, brother. We're going. Let's do it. Let's get it. That's my camera guy packing light as usual. Yeah. That's there's good. Kind of comfy. I feel like I'm in a World War II bomber.
fire in the hole. You know, those first two shots were pulling a little to the left. The uh, last shot was exactly where we wanted it, right, right dead on the line. We adjusted it over about three clicks to the right and did great. You know, one of the things you always have to remember is that when you're traveling, especially with our favorite national airline here, is that the likelihood is your gun's going to get bumped around a little bit. So even if it's dead on at home, sight in when you get to camp like these good guys make you do here, and you'll be a, a lot more certain of that shot when you have to take it in the field. These guys cased up there. I'm a fan of keeping them in a case when you're in the boat. You don't have to. There's no legal requirement, but you know what? Keeps the guns keeps the guns alive. Cleaner. Find firearm. Why not protect a little bit? I first started hunting when I was uh, quite young, shooting gophers out in the pasture, checking cows at the same time. Then it gradually just grew into uh, Canada geese, ducks, and from there, as I got older, into big game, deer and elk. Just watching Canada in the Rough one Sunday, they were advertising a contest giveaway, so I went online, entered my name, and lo and behold, they drew it, and here we are about seven months later. The weather's beautiful up here, beautiful country. It's unreal. It's uh, truly, truly going to be a dream hunt. What do you got over there, Bear? I've got two now. Yeah. Still have the one battered just behind him. Where are you oh, looking? About 60 yards, got another one. His top's look good. I, I think we can get in there. Right. I'm loving this gizmo. Where there's a will, there's a way. Love this gizmo. Is this a Barry Taylor invention or what? Yeah. That's a beauty. No, <laughs> and I it works. I did that 25, 30 years ago. I've had Peterson's hunting and everybody writes about this. Now you can buy glass stocks and everything else to mount a school for. Perfect. Let's go look at those bad boys. Definitely. Okay. I haven't seen the bottom of them, but I don't know. This is your shot, brother. I mean, if you want to take her, but, but I'm thinking oh. that's going to be a really good looking ball. Go. If he's got tops like that, I'm sure he's got right. bottoms. Let's go Let's get, get up, up there, there and take a look at him. You betcha. Let's go. Coming up, There's a ball right there. the stock begins on a caribou of a lifetime.
have the bond with this guy. Who knows? Give her a go. There's a ball right there. Ball. Yeah, that's her hockey stick ball, isn't it? Yeah, that's still the hockey stick ball. Yeah, that's it. It's coming right after him. There's a waist running across through here. And he's not all spooky. You know, we, no. we did that thing for half an hour before, right? He's fine. Here he goes up here. There he goes. You know, he's coming down behind there. I saw that other bull when he came up with the rise. Go down there. I thought it was him. Maybe it's another bull. Let's, Let's get down. Quietly okay. walk through here. Let's go that way. Here we go. Take him. Good stuff. That's what we wanted. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, way to go, man. That's Thanks. wonderful. That's wonderful. Good job. Thanks, Thomas. Good job. Who would have believed today after a stock like that, you'd end up 50 yards in front of a fantastic that. <laughs> You're practicing at 100, Three 200 hours. yards. There you go. You know, shot placement, shot placement, eh? You get the That's right the key. Right structure bullet, that 300 WSM, you know. If the guys, yeah. and, guys and girls don't want you to show by now, I haven't figured that one out. I love that. I love it. Caliber. That but has that been, caliber, the shot placement. That has been a one-shot caliber for us for five years with the show, you know. It's a caribou slayer. It's Unbelievable. A, look at this. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> look now at that this. that is a caribou. Look at this. That's a bull. Look what we got going on here, man. That's the dream oh, bull right man. there. Yeah, get on the other side of that and lift that up, Whew. would you? Perfect. Let's get right that gun there. of yours, clear that chamber, put it down if you would. It'd be great. Perfect. Leave that bad boy open through my. You know, it's one of the things people get a little oh. excited when they sh shoot a great, great animal like this. Definitely. And they forget to leave the, uh, open things up and things can go wrong. But anyways, perfect. Perfect. What a great bull. Great, great, great bull, bull, brother. Man, got everything you want. It's got everything. great tops. It's got that great bez, wonderful front shovel, pretty good reach and great mass, and a beautiful velvet caribou. From our friends at the Northwest Territories, Barry Taylor, Arctic Safaris, at All Work. Thanks, Tom. Great hunting with you. Great. I couldn't think of a better guy to win this hunt, Quentin. Thank I'm you. Delighted you came out with us. Definitely a dream hunt good for man. me. That's great. All my life. That's great. Coming up, Thomas heads out for his barren ground caribou. Well, it's the fourth day of our caribou hunt, and we got some good, good news in camp. There's a bunch of bulls moving on the other side. There's one other young lad's got a tag in camp left to fill. I've got my tag left to fill, and they're just starting to move fast. We're gonna get in the boats, get across that fast water, and see if we can't get or find Northwest Territories Tundra Caribou.
that's the color of success right there. Those tracks, those are fresh boot tracks. That group's gone down there. They're up on that side hill. Everybody's unloading the gear. Everybody's just so excited. It's the last day of our hunt. Wow, it couldn't come together better than this. Well, the second shot was good and the bull is down. That's great. But the first shot, I don't know, I must have hit Mars or Jupiter or something with it. I was feet over the back of that bull. And that's because the gentleman on the other side of the rock was shooting a gun with a muzzle brake on it. Now, a muzzle brake throws that concussion, that incredible noise and velocity out of the sides of the gun. And it basically was pointed in a safe direction, but it was close enough to me to make me really jump. But at the end of the day, we've got two great bulls down. So it's all good. We're bringing home some meat. That's great, Barry. Thank you, sir. Great, we can take the cape off this. Thank you. Roll the rest of the animal, animal in the quintus pack and take him down to the Because he likes, he likes carrying meat, that bad boy yeah. from Alberta. <laughs> all right, let's get him all ready. You know, after a quick look at my bull, which was a decent Northwest Territories bull, we had to go over and look at Virgil's bull. What a monster. Great bull. Thank you. Great bull. Thank you. Oh, look at the tops on this thing. Look at that shovel. Oh, that's a beautiful bull. Good job, man. Ooh, unique, eh? Dark, dark color, chocolate. Good stuff. Thanks again. Great hunt with yeah. you, buddy. Yeah, likewise. Well, another great adventure up in the Northwest Territories. You know, watching Quentin Motley take his first ever caribou, and a caribou of that quality, that magnitude, is just a dream for me. And a little bit of a tip of the week, again, muzzle blast. Be real careful of shooting with another hunter that uses a muzzle brake. Muzzle brakes don't have a place in the field of hunting. It'll do nothing but mess up everybody's game, whether it's your outfitter or yours. At any rate, it was a great adventure and we were really delighted to share it with you. Until the next time, I'm Thomas Pigeon for Canada Rough. Enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Canada in the Rough has been brought to you today by Dodge, grab life by the horns. Rocky, outdoor gear. The Beretta family of firearms. Federal premium ammunition, every shot counts. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Yamaha, ATVs and outboards. And Pioneer Log Homes of BC, the finest log homes on earth. For more information on today's episode of Canada in the Rough, log on to CanadaInTheRough.com. Learn more about the show and past episodes, and catch up with our latest adventures. <laughs>